नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स दिस इज एनजे योर होस्ट ऑन दिस चैनल कंटिन्यूइंग अवर डिस्कशन ऑन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द प्लैनेटरी प्रेजेंस इन डिफरेंट हाउसेस ऑफ अवर एस्ट्रोलॉजिकल चार्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अवर डिस्कशन ऑन द 12th हाउस सो फ्रेंड्स टू बिगिन विद डेफिनेटली दिस हाउस इज गोइंग टू टेक अ फ्रंट सीट इन योर लाइफ इफ like your important planets are going to be placed over here if your natal moon is placed here your ascendant lord is placed here your 10th house lord is placed here then it becomes very important for you to understand the nitty gritty pros and cons and all the signification and the way planets are going to be functioning over here because this is a little bit tricky house so friends to begin with first the signification of this house so definitely this is the house of expenses and losses so not only the planet which is going to be present over here losses could be akin to the nature of that planet but also the house which that planet is going to be ruling in that planet and that house can also become little bit vulnerable in the form of you know energy getting lost expenses going high very soon you will get to know about that and uh, definitely friends when we talk from spiritual perspective so this house holds a lot of potential when we talk about psychic awareness we talk about telepathy we talk about your strong intuition enlightenment liberation moksha self sacrifice so all those potential are somehow attached with this house like friends the axis of the 6th house and the 12th house is all about service or suffering so you can actually convert your suffering by devoting yourself to the causes of the society so the choices tend to remain little bit harsh which comes out of the 12th house and definitely friends all those activities all those engagements which takes you away from the drama of the life so when we talk about a uh, far away foreign lands when we talk about prisons hospitals monasteries so all these places are somehow connected with the 12th house now friends just because i said this thing that anything which takes you away from the world so whether you talk about physically being located in far away places or even when we talk about psychologically mentally like all those people who work in the realms of the fantasy of imagination of creativity space sciences all those uh, aspects of the life are connected with the 12th house only and just because friends with this house there is a lot of hidden energy involved over here as well so all kind of hidden activities secretive activities uh, danger on the account of hidden enemies clandestine relationship sexual activities are also seen from the 12th house as well so no matter which planet is placed over here somehow there is definitely going to be a wheel of illusion or secrecy which is going to be all the time covering the qualities and signification of that planet so now friends now we will start our discussion and we will start placing planets one by one so if you are going to find the placement of sun over here so definitely friends sun is a planet which always wants to be in the limelight whether you talk about first house you talk about 10th house you talk about 11th house so this is the house where the the glory and individuality of sun kind of get covered so native might have to work hard to get the kind of due recognition which native deserves but when we talk about getting success behind the scenes like becoming a researcher becoming an explorer or becoming a director so from all of those perspective this placement of sun over here can be seen as a very good sign friends uh, like when we talk about the 12th house like the way i said this thing the sun is the significator of the individuality sun represents your confidence as well so it all comes down to in which dignity sun is placed over here in the 12th house and what kind of planetary influence it is receiving because otherwise if afflicted it can actually give serious concerns of lack of confidence you know always having this inferiority complex so those are the some of the areas where native has to work but apart from being a perfectionist in your craft and success uh finding success in the far away foreign land if sun also has got a rulership of the important houses in your chart and it is dignified basis the zodiac sign placement all those possibilities can be foreseen moving ahead friends now let's say for example if you are going to find the uh placement of moon over here so definitely friends this can be seen as a very psychic placement because moon in itself represents our emotions our feeling our subconsciousness so wheresoever and in which so have house moon is going to be placed in our emotions our feelings tend to get attached regarding the signification of that house now as you have already 
must have understood that 12th house is a kind of a hidden energy but 12th house also represents other dimensions all the communication with the higher dimension telepathy is seen from the 12th house only so for example if your moon is going to be placed over here in some sort of water sign or it is being getting the aspect from jupiter or from k2 so this can actually grant native strong psychic abilities now again friends when we talk from psychic abilities perspective so it is a two-edged sword so it all comes down to how much you are working hard in that direction so what could be a a uh, kind of a clever powers what could be a psychic gifts and blessings they can also take up the shape of the anxiety nervousness escapist mentality so it all comes down to which direction you are giving to your life your lifestyle choices the kind of activities you undertake and friends with this placement it also becomes very important for native to protect his energies from all the negative influence because uh, whatsoever influence native is going to expose himself towards native is going to absorb energies very quickly and when we talk about the energies of the 12th house like all those people who always have conspiracy theories who always have this kind of you know paranoia so that could also come if you are going to find moon to be afflicted over here but trust me friends i have seen charts of so many spiritually elevated people in their charts like i still remember there is one preacher from india he's a very successful very renowned um, preacher and not only that like sometimes when people are having that kind of spiritual elevated stature you can get that glow from their face only so he um, is gemini ascendant uh, and in his chart his moon was exalted conjunct with ketu in the 12th house so you must have got the idea which i'm trying to say over here because 12th house also represents like all sort of prophetic dreams um, concerns of liberation enlightenment so all of those potential is seen from the 12th house only like friends if i were to say like definitely fifth house is the house of our devotion to our favorite god east devta ninth house is the house of devotion eighth house is also the house of psychic uh, awareness but when we talk about the house which has the potential to communicate with the uh, higher uh, astral entities or you know your uh, guardian angel or the gods that all potential is there only in the 12th house only moving at friends now let's say for example if you're going to find the placement of uh, mars over here in your 12th house now friends this can be seen as a little bit sensitive alignment because definitely whether mars is placed in any water sign or whether mars is placed in any of the water houses it is always a sensitive or vulnerable energy where this could work in the form of you know threat on the account of hidden enemies or native might not be able to release the pent up energies and you know holding up uh, the resentment frustration anger trying to get back so it all comes down to which in which dignity mars is placed in the 12th house are the benefic planets expecting it or not so then only the energy of mars can work to the best of its fashions where could uh, you know with this kind of alignment and placement of mars when we talk about anything to do in the fields of spirituality native could be self driven native could be like all those people who on themselves only they have complete confidence that they can do something on their own they are self reliant so that kind of potential tendency the placement of mars over here can give whether in the fields of spirituality or anything any long working hours behind the screen like when we talk about even all those risky ventures you have to become a spy you have to become a detective you have to work in prisons or monasteries or all those hard unbearable jobs which a person with a sensitive psychological mindset might not be able to do so with this placement of mars and its dignity in the 12th house native might be able to undertake all those uh, you know um, uh, fearless and kind of you know death defying kind of activities with complete bravery only if you will find mars to be well placed or dignified over here but if it's going to be afflicted remedies needs to be undertaken otherwise the fear on the account of you know enemies will definitely and always loom over the native moving at friends now let's say for example if you are going to find the placement of mercury over here so again friends in the original kal purush kundli this is the house where uh, mercury attains debilitation and like when we talk about the 
intelligence of mercury going haywire or like you know taking wrong direction so it all comes down to because mercury is a very impressionable planet so in which influence mercury is placed in the 12th house let's say for example if mercury is going to be uh, placed in a gemini sign or uh, in a virgo sign exalted even in the saturnian sign and it is in the influence of benefic planet then trust me mercury can actually give you you know good um, intellectual qualities at the same time capacity to see through any investment any foreign investment any sort of you know uh, speculative decision making native can do very good in all of that these days majority of the businesses are being done online only so native can do very good in all of those but let's say for example if you're going to find mercury to be afflicted over here for example if in a uh, Leo ascendance chart you will find mercury to be placed in the uh, cancer sign in the 12th house then the concerns of the speech impediment problem not being able to express yourself at the right time to the best of your capabilities creating conspiracy theories or you know uh, getting entangled into or mixing up with the sketchy people wrong people so all those potential and tendencies or anxiety related concerns can happen if you are going to find mercury to be afflicted over here in the 12th house but if well placed it can give very good success in anything to do with the foreign trade or foreign dealings moving ahead friends now let's say for example if you're going to find the placement of jupiter over here so definitely friends this can be seen as a very good placement of jupiter whether you talk about native you know inculcating very strong compassionate qualities very generous nature and the good part over here is that native is not going to be doing a lot of pomp and show of all the good deeds he is going to do in the society he is going to be a very writers good person and when we talk about you know communication with the higher dimensions guardian angel protecting you divine grace all the time protecting you support of the luck so i would say for anything to do with spirituality or you know like even in today's day and age friends there are all those kind of people like whether you talk about me or majority of the people in the world we all are concerned about either our own growth or we are working for the sake of our family but even at the time of this ongoing war which is currently taking place there are so many people who are just going there voluntary to serve and trust me i still remember you know getting this consultation from this girl she has got such a good academic background and qualifications and all what she wants is she does not have any personal uh, goals or anything to do with the uh, getting a high paid job she just wants to go to third world country and serve over there and she has all the time and even in her past she has only worked with the non-profit organizations only so the point which i'm trying to make over here is that there are those good guardian angels or angels and good people who exist in the world because of which the the we still have the trust in the goodness in the society in the human behavior so with this placement of jupiter in the 12th house it can actually bring out all those kind of generous qualities in the human nature along with that for anything to do with spirituality uh, you know getting success in foreign land luck supporting you all the 12th house related signification can actually help you or help native prosper in the life because friends from the 12th house only if jupiter is going to be placed over here even the houses which jupiter is going to expecting it's going to be expecting your uh, sixth house it's going to uh, control and monitor and look at any sort of difficulties of the life it is going to be expecting your fourth house giving you peace inner contentment and it is also going to be looking at your eighth house as well so whether we talk about from spiritual perspective protecting you from any threats uh, reducing your expenses and giving you divine grace from all perspective this placement of jupiter in the 12th house can be seen as a very good sign it has been witnessed in so many uh, charts and the lives of the spiritually elevated people where God has given them the direction in their dreams like in India where you know someone um, you know uh, like he was a devotee of a specific God and that God came in his dream and instructed him to make his temple in this location or there was a temple which was being in a bad condition to you know do the renovation of that temple so all those communication with the gods have taken place in the lives of many saints from india who have got well placed jupiter in the 12th house i have already mentioned this thing the actual communication with the other dimensions or with the gods can only take place through 12th house only moving ahead friends 
Now let's say for example if you are going to find the placement of Venus in the 12th house that can be seen as a very good placement. Because friends whenever we talk about Venus's perspective in the original Karl Purush Kundli 12th house belongs to the sign Pisces where Venus attains exaltation. And there is one thing which you have to understand that let's say for example if you are going to find Venus to be dignified in the 11th house, in the 2nd house, in the 7th house it can actually make native very much and push native more on towards the materialistic side but the essence of the venus is about experiencing the beauty and experiencing the love in the relationship and when we talk about the true definition of love love is not something which you demand is something which you offer yourself and those qualities of self-sacrifice those qualities of you know uh, not being very demanding very much you know committed in the relationship very loving very giving whether in your personal relationship whether towards the you know having an empathy for the people who are going through any sort of suffering and along with that friends because there are certain houses like you place Venus in the 8th house, you place Venus in the 12th house. These are certain alignments which gives a very strong sexual allure and charm to the personality of the native which automatically attracts the opposite sex as well. Now trust me it has nothing to do with the character. It's just like that your magnetic charm in your personality is going to increase with this placement of Venus in the 12th house. And which can actually work in your favor if you are working in any glamorous industry, in any fashion industry, PR industry. So with this placement of Venus, you can actually experience the nectar of the beauty of the Venus, which is going to manifest a kind of a very self-sacrificing, very loving, unconditional loving qualities of Venus being placed over here. Moving ahead friends. Now let's say for example if you are going to find the placement of Saturn over here. So definitely friends this can be seen as a good placement because the qualities of the 12th house completely resonates with the Saturnian nature. And Saturn is also the significator of the 12th house. Saturn represents asceticism, spirituality, expenses. 12th house also represents the similar qualities. And the beauty over here is that friends because when we talk about those kind of jobs or occupation where long working hours are required being away uh, from your family from your home just because you are whether working in army in prisons in hospitals in any sort of field wheresoever long working hours like being away from the family all the comforts of the life being just devoted to your craft to your job so in all those nature of work this placement of saturn in the 12th house can prove to be a blessing for the native the second thing is that definitely 12th house has everything to do with the spirituality and i have already mentioned this thing friends like even in my chart my saturn is strengthened in the uh, 8th house so definitely saturn can grant me knowledge and you know uh, knowledge of occult and you know uh, mystical subjects and all of that but when we talk about the true asceticism to sacrifice becoming a yogi uh, whether in meditation in yoga in spirituality so highest of the highest potential this placement of saturn holds within itself apart from that friends definitely when we talk about the experiences of the losses and loneliness that is something where native has to work on and it also comes down to what role Saturn is playing in your life? Is Saturn your ascendant lord? Is Saturn your seventh house lord? Is Saturn your uh, moon sign lord? So it all comes down to what kind of portfolio Saturn is holding in your life. But when we talk about anything to do with, uh, you know, ex accepting all the losses very gracefully in the life, becoming a true humanitarian, doing and excelling in the fields of service, of spirituality this placement of saturn can be seen as a very good sign moving ahead friends now let's say for example if you're going to find the placement of rahu over here so again friends with rahu there could be a two-edged sword with this placement of Rahu over here. The good side of this placement is that Rahu is the significator of the foreign lands, foreign entities and elements. If in your nature of work, anything which involves foreign settlement, dealing with foreign entities, even cinema, uh, you know, space sciences, fantasy writing, in all those kind of fields, this placement of Rahu can give you success. The vulnerable aspect is that because if uh, in your chart, Rahu has got some influence over your ascendant lord or over your natal moon and Rahu is placed over here in your 12th house. Like it hardly matters. You might have your moon to be placed in the uh, like in the 5th house, in the 9th house or let's say 3rd house 
और योर मून इज प्लेस्ड इन दी अदरा नक्षत्र और स्वाति नक्षत्र सदभिशा नक्षत्र बट द लॉर्ड ऑफ द नक्षत्र राहु इज प्लेस्ड इन दी ट्वेल्थ हाउस सो देर इज ऑलवेज दिस टेंडेंसी ऑफ यू नो साइकोलॉजिकल अनरेस्ट और यू नो टेम्पटेशन एंड इंक्लिनेशन टूवर्ड्स इंटॉक्सिकेंट्स सो ऑल दोज पोटेंशियल इफ यू कैन वर्क ऑन दैट सो देन द डिसप्लेसमेंट ऑफ राहू कैन प्रूव टू बी blessing for you where in today's day and age all the businesses are being conducted through social media online you know the world is has become one uh, single unified market we all are conducting our jobs through um, you know work from home social media online digital media so in all those platform this placement of rahu in the 12th house can give you success and also friends when we talk about rahu from the perspective of the intuitiveness so definitely uh, rahu also has a say in that as well anything to do with research anything to do with exploration along with that your psychic faculties guiding you with that regard in that regard this placement of rahu can prove to be helpful for you only if you can work on the uh, area and vulnerability of temptation towards the intoxicants and not mixing up with the uh, questionable elements of the society because when we talk about wherever rahu is placed in and if your rahu dasha has got activated it might uh you know make you uh, or you know uh, uh, make you come in contact with the questionable elements of the society now that can work in your favor if your nature of work involves that or demands that you being a lawyer you being a cop you being a detective then this placement can actually do wonders for you moving ahead friends now let's say for example if you are going to find the placement of ketu over here so trust me friends this can be seen as one of the best placement of ketu over here ketu is the window in our chart which has got communication with all other dimensions along with our past and 12th house represents uh, liberation and moksha so trust me with this kind of placement and if you are going to find ketu in the 12th house to be in the jupiterian signs or even in the saturnian signs this can do wonders in your life anything to do with the spirituality your psychic faculties guiding you now again friends see it all comes down to are you also working in that direction or not so with this kind of alignment and your lifestyle your uh, lifestyle choices is devoted to yoga meditation spirituality then trust me you are actually heading on the right path only so for anything to do with the psychic faculties guiding you this placement can be seen as a very good sign the only concern is that friends see that's the reason i always say this thing the reason and the difference between the religion and the spirituality is that in the path of religion you completely surrender yourself to the gods and the religious doctrines when we talk about spirituality spirituality gives you awareness so all of your actions a person who is a spiritual seeker is done and decision made with complete conscious awareness so it becomes very important for you to have that state of conscious awareness because the problem with ketu is that whatsoever ketu wants to do in your life ketu is not open to negotiation and its strike comes very sudden very extreme so for example if your ketu is placed over here your uh, ketu dasha came whether it's the antar dasha whether it's the uh, maha dasha or any shift in the transit the, and let's say for example the change which needs to be followed in your life those changes those transformation those actions might be very severe so then you have to remain very much welcoming towards that and you have to undertake remedies but anything to do with having and establishing a connection with the other dimensions your ancestors your gut feel your intuition guiding you in the right direction this placement can be seen as a very wonderful placement moving ahead friends now let's say for example if you are going to find the placement of uranus over here so definitely friends uh, this placement of uranus in the 12th house can be seen as a blessing for anything to do with the research anything to do with the innovation anything to do with the exploration working uh, in the uh, foreign lands or you know uh, working in any sort of creative fields and all of that with complete creative freedom so with this kind of placement of uranus in the 12th house you can actually and the energies of 12th house can work in your favor. the only vulnerability aspect with this placement of uranus is that when we talk about the intoxicants when we talk about the ethics uh, aspect of the life there you have to give proper attention towards because i have already mentioned this thing that the excess of 6th house and 12th house is all about service or suffering so you have to make conscious choices with this placement of uranus over here but 
regarding anything to do with the out of the box new age technological stuff uh, dealing uh, in the foreign lands with the foreign people this placement of uranus in the 12th house can be seen as a very good sign moving ahead friends now let's say for example if you're going to find the placement of neptune over here so with neptune being placed over here it's like neptune is sitting in its own home so all the qualities of neptune completely resonate with the 12th house energies and let's say for example if you're going to place it over here in any water sign so trust me the best of the neptune qualities can manifest strong uh, you know intuition intuitive faculties well guiding you and let's say for example if with this kind of alignment jupiter is going to be expecting the 12th house or is going to be placed in the 12th house then definitely all the neptune qualities of your dreams of your vision of your imagination well guiding you like you know your garden angel always protecting you like i would rather recommend with this kind of placement of your neptune in the 12th house you should practice tarot as well because reading is definitely going to be like always coming out to be accurate only and lastly friends when we talk about from the pluto's perspective so definitely friends when we talk about pluto is a very extreme transformation so with this kind of placement again i'll say the same thing that it also comes down to what kind of influence pluto is uh, receiving over here so like whether pluto is conjunct with saturn so it could uh, make native ascetic or could uh, push native in the path of spirituality to the extreme or let's say for example if you're going to find the placement of mars or any planet which is your 10th house lord then the capacity of native to sacrifice or being very dutiful so all those qualities are going to accentuate so it all comes down to in which dignity the placement of pluto is there over in that house and lastly friends like when we talk about anything to do with the with the uh, transformation aspect with the serviceful aspect you know being empathetic towards the downtrodden and all of that this placement of pluto in the 12th house and with proper uh, you know uh, aspect and conjunction can bring very wonderful results so that is something friends which i wanted to say as a part of my inputs for this 12th house planetary presence for further more updates and notifications on the divine science of vedic astrology please subscribe to my youtube channel and like my facebook page dhanyawad